and welcome to my 12th Java Beginner Programming Tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm sorry I haven't made a tutorial in a while. I was going to do one last week, but I had a pretty bad cough, and I just couldn't do it. Um, and before that, I've been bogged down with a lot of homework and projects and just stuff like that. But I'm back. Um, I should be able to get more tutorials out than I have in the past two months um, in the following days and such, following weeks. Um, and I'm hoping to finish the beginner series soon, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. Um, and before I get started with the code, uh, today we're going to do um, getting user input as I told you in tutorial 11. I had actually put up tutorial 12 before and then I realized, wait, I've already done if statements. So, um, yeah. And finally, before we get started, it seems Eclipse has changed. Um, I'm not sure if it was like a hidden update or something, but, um, if you were, t if you open up your, um, folder, and you see there's these dot class path, dot project, dot settings, bin, all that. All you need to do, it, it would look like this. Open this up and open up src for source. And then here are your classes. Okay, so onto the coding. Um, in the last tutorial, I talked about, let's see, what did I talk about? Oh yes, a static keyword. Um, so, in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about user input. And this isn't going to be like a user input where you do something and a window pops up and you type something in there. This is going to be user input in the little, um, in the little I guess dialogue box thing um, down at the bottom of Eclipse down here, the console. Um, if I get back to the code. Okay, so the way we do that, just go ahead and delete everything in your main method. I'm going to give myself some room. And the way you do that is you have to create a new um, object. So and it's called scanner. And I'm going to call it SE equals new scanner. And you'll notice it's giving me an error. And it's giving me this error because scanner is not built directly into Java. You have to do something called an import. Now we could just hover over this and click import scanner. And that brings it up here. Or we could type it ourselves, which is better for me to teach you guys how to do it. So the way you make an import statement, you have to do it above your class. So this is your class. You want to do your import statement up here. So you do import and then the um, class path, the folders you put in. So there, on your computer, there's a folder called java.util.scanner and capitalize scanner. And so this right here is your folder and this is what you, is, and this is the class that you're importing. And so you can do that or you could do java.util.star and let me get that real quick. Okay, I'm back. So, and this star, when you do an import something dot something dot, it can have as many dots as folders. And then this star means that it's importing everything in that folder. So, you could do import java dot star and that imports everything in Java but 
I don't think anyone would recommend that because your program would import a bunch of stuff that it doesn't need and that would slow it down or um, cause it to use a bunch of memory and stuff. So I'm just going to do import java.u2.scanner and you'll see it's giving me another error. So what you have to do is when you're import when you're creating a new scanner object you have to do new scanner system dot in and what this does is it's pretty much telling the scanner that it's getting information from your computer um so and I'll talk to you guys about what this parameter is when you're making an object um, in a later tutorial, probably in the intermediate series. Um, but for now, all you need to know, scanner name, because it's an object, equals new scanner system dot in. Okay, so the way we use this is, let's say um, system dot, not comma, dot out dot print ln. And um, let's see, enter a number. And let's say, um, let's just create an int i. So then what you can do is you can say i equals sc dot get next. not get next, next int, and so this next int is a method in the scanner class. Um, yeah, sorry about that get next thing, I haven't used a scanner in a while, um, and I'm doing this completely from memory, so if I make a mistake like that, it's my fault. <laughs> um, okay, so and then we can say um, system dot out dot print ln i. So what this is going to do, as you know, is it's going to put the value of i on on the screen. So let's run it, save and launch, and it says enter a number. Hmm, what number shall we enter? Let's enter eleven. And it prints out 11. So that's how you get user input. You could do like a whole password thing where you tell them to enter the password and if the and make it a string and if the password equals this then allow access or whatever. But that's the basics of that for now. In the next tutorial we're going to talk about pry the random class um, because that comes in handy later. Um, but for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.